Hi everybody, today we're adding something that doesn't exist in digital synthesizers. And this is called CV, controller voltage. And of course in software there is no voltage, so there is no controller voltage at all. But it is common synthesizer terminology, so let's just use it. So now, what is it about? We have this button here, which says show CV sliders. So we can click it and we see some sliders. And these are controller voltage inputs. And I hope you all know Reaper good enough to know that we can automate sliders externally. So I can just move this with my mouse, but I can also click here and the last touch slider can be set to parameter modulation link. And here I could add an LFO from Reaper and we can already see that this knob here for the slider is moving and we can adjust the LFO from this window here to whatever we like. For example, random. Or if we don't want to use an LFO, we could use an audio signal. But I want to do today is that we control the controller voltages from another plugin. So let's first see the other plugin, which could be the black light modulation. And this is my modulation effect from the series two. And in this plugin, an LFO can be designed. Here we can choose from several shapes. We could even have shapes like 16 step, where we can design our LFO in 16 steps. But let's switch that back to the sine wave. And now we see this blue pointer moving there and I can give the other channel an offset so we can do stereo things. So we could have a blue and a green pointer. Of course, we can choose the speed for this thing. We could tempo sync all this. And for audio purposes, we could choose effects which we want to use with this LFO. But that's not what we're doing today. No, we're going in the menu and we check that this output automation is activated. And I set up this black light modulation and I set up another black light modulation with a 16th step. And now let's get back to the synthesizer. So what we did was we touched this controller voltage one, opened this parameter modulation link window, and now we want to link this to the black light modulation in slot one. And here we can choose the green or the blue pointer. And now we see that this slider is moving according to what the plugin is doing. Let's do this for controller voltage two. And here we choose the black light modulation in slot two and choose the green pointer. Okay, now we can close this window and we can hide the sliders again. Okay, yes, this was a lot of explanation, but we need it because now we can really do crazy things with the LFOs. So instead of using the LFO itself, which is oscillating at the frequency that I choose here with the shape that I choose there, now when I click on off, it offers a lot more options. And here now are the options that we know from the matrix, off, on, mod wheel and aftertouch, or we can use the controller voltage input. Let's use controller voltage one here. And now we go to the matrix and we set the filter to on. And now our filter is modulated by this modulation effect. And now we can hear something. Let's hear that. And now if I make this faster, You see, it's controlled by the other plugin. And of course, there is a reason why I set up the second controller voltage, because here I can click and choose the second controller voltage as the controller for this modulation. So again, for explanation, now this modulation number one gets an amount of how much modulation is done by the controller voltage one. And this amount again, then is modified by the controller voltage two, and the maximum amount is what we choose here. And now it sounds like this.
And of course, there's not only black light modulation. We saw these Reaper internal LFOs before. You can modulate from audio sources and you can modulate from third party plugins, such as ShaperBox or other FreeJS plugins, which output automation data. So this gives us a lot of freedom. Let's see another thing. If I don't choose controller voltage one, this time I choose the mod wheel. And now the modulation effect is controlled by the mod wheel with the offset of the controller voltage 2, which can sound like this. I hope you like this controller voltage input feature and bye bye.